Hi, this is Jackie Murray, and I'm your guide through these 32 lessons in the first grade technology curriculum for structured learning. We're on lesson four. So we're done with kind of the basics, the introduction. Students are starting, should start to feel like they're getting into the learning. So much of technology is to reinforce what you're doing in other classes. It's a learning tool to help them learn better whatever they're learning in their core classroom subjects. This one is no different, symbols. They probably talk about symbols in, in math class, in other parts of their classes. They, it's certainly a topic discussed often in Common Core and in ISTE standards. So here we're going to discuss it as they are using symbols to understand technology and make it easier to decipher. The tools that they got in the last lesson are, are an introduction to this. Because those little iconic pictures that they see showing a tool looks like this. Let's see if I can find one. So um, like one of this little paintbrush up here. That's a symbol of a paintbrush, an eraser. Those are symbols of something that happens pretty similar across all toolbars. But the student will see that symbol and say, okay, that means eraser. So we're going to carry on with that theme in this lesson on symbols. Words, nothing too unusual, although do discuss the meaning of the word symbol. Problem solving, lots of the basic technology skills you, you want them to understand. Let's see, I don't think, well, when they, they get to writing, you're going to be talking about what if they write something that the whole thing doesn't fit, what, what do they do about that? Greeting doesn't fit, discuss the importance of layout and planning. So good time to be talking about that is whenever you first start writing. Okay, new symbol, new skills are symbols and pre-word processing. So there, word we don't really get into word processing till second grade, but pre-word processing is doing exactly what you'll do with word processing, but just in a preparatory nature. And they do start doing that in first grade, at kindergarten too, for that matter. Scaffolded, these are all you should expect them to start solving their own hardware problems, computer problems, taking good care of their computer. They know a drawing program. They used one last year, um, how to save their work. And then the pre-keyboarding, which in fact, they're going to do that as class warm-up. Have them pull that keyboarding program out, whatever it is they've been using in the past, and independently start it and work on it for those three to five minutes or ten minutes if you want, as you're wrapping up things and getting ready for the class. Central question, how do symbols help share ideas faster and more efficiently? And that is their purpose. Rather than writing out text that only one cultural group can read, because it's English or French or Spanish, a symbol is pretty much across the board. Everyone knows what that, that crosswalk symbol means or that driving symbol means. They all know it because it's, it doesn't depend on a written language. So there are real value to symbols. The big idea is to communicate information and ideas effectively to multiple audiences. Okay, the prep is probably you're going to start seeing the same preparation all the time, so you'll get used to it. You want to check with your grade level team, see if they're talking about symbols in any way that you can tie into, maybe in math class, maybe in something else. Um, know which tasks weren't completed last time. Since tools are symbols, it might be important if you didn't complete something in the last lesson, so be aware of that. Assessment strategies here, this is what you can assessment, assess them on, and it shows up here under their to-do list. So they know exactly that you're going to expect them to do the warm-up and exit ticket. You expect them to be becoming comfortable with hardware problems. So don't raise your hand to ask for help when you might know it yourself. That you, um, you're going to expect them to come out of this lesson understanding symbols. Participate in class discussions, all those things. So a lot of these are every class, every lesson we expect them, but you know, every once we always throw in a, a, a specific one to the lesson. Okay, so review hardware problems. Just keep doing that because you want them to know that you're, they're expected to do that. Review and care, care and feeding of the computer. 
Now open the drawing program, whichever one is used in your class, and students should do this independently. And this is um, drawing, but it's a, you want the drawing program that you can write in so that they get used to the pre-word processing skills. There are a lot of drawing programs that are just for drawing, nothing at all wrong with them. In these, this case, though, you want one you can write in also. So I've put some choices there, Kid Picks Paint, Pixie, Tux Paint, an online program like ABC. Yeah. So you pick one. If you get stuck, though, ask in the discussion board on the wiki, and I'll come up with one that works for you. I'll help you come up with one. How's that? Better idea. So um, then start. So remind students of the pictures they drew in kindergarten. And here you might go back to one of these. And if you look at this, what does it say to you? If you look at this tree, what does it say? What does a present say? They are symbols. If you're talking about Christmas, very often someone will draw a Christmas tree. Or if you're talking about happy, very often someone's going to draw a smile. Then you look at these symbols down here. They're, they're um, not so much traditional symbols as being able to look at a picture and come away with a big fuller understanding. So you get an, an idea from these of something that's going on without having to read anything. So discuss those and have the students talk about that. Where So this guy looks happy, why? This guy looks sad, why is that? And then if you see a bunny, what's the first thing you think of? If you see a heart, if you see a turkey, so these are symbols of holidays. And then get into the toolbars and point out, okay, these are all symbols on a toolbar. They're tools on a toolbar, but they're symbols of what's going to happen. You know if you click this, you're going to have one thing happen that doesn't happen when you click this. Same with this toolbar. So use the toolbar for your drawing program. This is ABC of Paint, and this is Kid Picks. So use the one for yours. Then get into the ones that you may be reinforcing in their class. Math symbols, numbers as symbols. These typically a symbol can be understood across all languages. So if you get something that you can, you can only understand if it's English, then it probably isn't a symbol. Okay, and then have the students draw something a symbol, and then because we're trying to get them started with word processing, have them add a sentence there. Whatever, if it, this is, you might be getting ready for Halloween, you might be getting ready for Labor Day, I'm probably a little late for Labor Day, but a holiday coming up and then have them, you could do something like that, a symbol of that holiday, and, and then a sentence that goes with it. So they start getting used to the idea of word processing, typing, plus drawing that symbol. Okay, and then um, class exit ticket. Have an, each neighbor verify with their neighbor that the, the desk is as they found it, that they're leaving the station as neat as it was when they arrived. And that's it. All right, guys. Any questions, leave on our discussion board in the wiki. I'll be happy to help you with them. Have a great week. Bye.